Okay, so um, let's end the episode with uh, a spoiler corner on Gravity Falls. Yeah. Uh, because Andrew has finally reached the end of it, and I want to talk to him about it. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't seen Gravity Falls, um, you can stop listening to the episode now because it's a fantastic series. And I do not want to spoil the ending for anyone who hasn't seen it. Yeah. Um, so here is your warning: there'll be links on YouTube video. And if you listen to it on Spotify, you just get fucked. Well, if, yeah. If you're listening on Spotify, <laughs> just sort of close the video now because this will be the end of the episode after this. Um, okay. Right. Gravity Falls. In the ending, just to recap. Um, so we have this final showdown with Bill. Yep. Um, and we've got the two stands. Um, yeah. And they're basically... Their plan is to do a switcheroo. Yeah. Um, so that Bill make is wanting to make a deal with Ford to get into his mind. But they switch it so they get him into Stan's mind and then wipe his mind to kill Bill. Ah, kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is such a powerful moment. And it's it's fantastic. like it's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, to to see like Stan will make the ultimate sacrifice for his kids and there's this humility of knowing that he, you know, he's not some genius. He's you know he he's he thinks he's less valuable to the kids because he's not some genius. He is basically just like a, a um a failure of a parent or whatever or grandparent. Or I have uncle, I want to say so much about Stan because I feel yeah. like Stan is just an excellent character. In... He's such a great flawed character because he's so yeah. full of love, even though he does bad things and isn't the best at his sort of um, at looking after the kids. He cares for them so much, and he'll make the ultimate sacrifice for them. Yeah, he's and that's just... seen as yeah. He's such a wonderful character. I think he's because but yeah, for that reason, but he's flawed. But also his willingness to sacrifice himself for other people. Yeah, absolutely. Um. But yeah, so we have this amazing scene, a scene that sort of start, you know, made me tear up a bit. And we see Stan um, have his mind wiped. Yeah. We see him later in the forest. And he has no memory at all of, of any of his family around him, which is the ultimate sacrifice. He loves his family so much, but he'll never know them and never get to remember all the things they had together. And then yeah. <laughs> it just magically comes back and he's fine. Yeah. But the thing is, because I have mixed feelings about this ending, because on the one hand, if they if they kept it so he didn't have any memory at all, it would be a really... The, the ending that we then have wouldn't be as good. It wouldn't be as great an ending, I feel, if he was just brained... Because, I mean, that's a very... Is, it would also be absolutely gut-wrenchingly sad as yeah, well, that'd... especially for a kid's show. Like, that's a real kick of the tit. Yeah, that'd be such a bad, like, downer ending. But then, so on the one hand, I sort of support the idea of him coming back. I do like the idea they sort of essentially bring him back by regaling with the stories of their holiday there and all the things Which, they've yeah, done. That's, nice. that's cute. But on the other hand, as a writer, yeah. the whole peril is about, oh, we can get rid of Bill, but to do it, we'll have to lose Stan. Oh no, he's fine. It's back. No yeah, consequences. I feel like they had to. Death t- is meaningless. Yeah, I feel like that's the that was the problem. Like they couldn't. I feel like because it's a kids' show, they couldn't leave, leave it like that. Hmm. Um, which is yeah, it's it's slightly disappointing that they instantly reverted. I would have preferred them being like, if Ford had you know, then started inventing something to try and get his memory back or some, you know, or some sort of eventually yeah, well, see, he'll get it back, but not right my, now or, you know, something like that. My idea was, um, so maybe if I go to where the Society of the Blind Eye was and they'd find somewhere like an old backup of Stan's memory for some reason. Oh, yeah. And then like, and then they'd restore it, but maybe he didn't know about certain things that had happened, then they could fill him in on it. And yeah. they still have that sort of ending. I don't know. It just the idea of it just magically comes back out of nowhere it doesn't make sense, and it's just and again like just completely ruins the sort of the impact of that sacrifice. But then I don't know how else to really make that work. Gravity Falls is absolutely fantastic, and it is is one of the only shows where I love every single character. Yeah, and like I hate Gideon, but you're supposed to hate Gideon. Yeah, and you love to hate him. Cause he's you, such, yeah, he's, and you love to hate him because he's such a little shit. And he's also funny. Like, the yeah. stuff he says is actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> and Bill Cipher is a fantastic villain. But I, I love how, like, quirky and funny he is. Hmm. It is it's, it's amazing that I just... Every single character, I just absolutely love them. 
Yeah. And for and some like reason, saying, Grenda oh. makes me like cry with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I just find her so funny and I just don't know why, but of all the characters, she just like makes me just crease up so much. And like I was saying to you the other day, like I, f- I find it really interesting how they took Pacifica, who was in season one, introduced as specifically a one-dimensional kind of villain character, or antagonist at least, and then they completely turn her around and make her like so much more likeable and yeah. give her a backstory and a redemption arc that makes sense. It's all in one episode in season two. And it's, that is a fantastic episode as well. That is one of the best episodes. There's so many good... That's, there we go. What's your favourite episode of Gravity Falls? Oh Christ, that is that is hard. It is hard, isn't it? There are so many utterly fantastic ones, though. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll help you out. We'll exclude um, not what he seems and tale of two stands because obviously those two are like the best. Those ones are magnificent. Yeah, those are some of the best episodes of television I think I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Like along with like shut up and dance and Black Mirror and. Um, uh, Time's Arrow, like that's one of my favourite TV episodes. Yeah, I genuinely think Not What He Seems is probably the best episode. Yeah. Just because um, that is is incredible. So I think... I know certainly my favourite season one is um, Time Traveller's Pig. Yeah. That's... So I think it's such a great... It, firstly, it executes its own concept so perfectly and the character in that I think works better than a lot of the episodes in season one does. Yeah, and also just there's so many great jokes in it, yeah. <laughs> and Waddles is amazing. Yeah. I want Waddles. I want a pig who makes little Waddles. noises. Waddles <laughs> into the bunker. That was a good episode. Into the bunker is really good. That was my favorite for a while in season two. I love as well. Um, like even though again it's a Disney show technically, it gets so dark. Like some of the imagery in Into the Bunker, in particular, I'm being like this is genuinely quite freaky. Yeah. Like, um, when the shapeshifter turns into like Dipper and Mabel at the same time, it's like this, um, like something from the thing, like this yes. weird, not yeah. quite human, like th- monstrosity. Like that's such a great image. That's so scary for a kid's thing. Yeah. But it fits so well. And I, I love that it has the balls to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I love it. It's such a good show. And, I, and um, so the, the, and the ending as well, like the weird Mageddon mm. is so incredible like it's just pure animation used to its absolute like pinnacle isn't it it's it's absolutely amazing i think it's just i love as well it it collides so many different like um types of post-apocalypse as well like we get bits like mad max in there and we get like sort of almost like the the rock album pop like (laughs) Apocalypse, yeah. as they point out, like they, they sort of have used bits of all these different types of apocalypse. All ma- and those Cthulhu together. is in there as well, which was yeah. Fun. <laughs> but I love, and also you just could not do that in live action at all without it looking in- terrible or being entirely CG anyway. No, yeah, it. <laughs> uh, so that one of the things I love so much about Gravity Falls is so it does so much with the animation. Yeah. Like there's so there's loads of episodes where it just like they take full advantage of that and have such interesting imagery. And yeah. the concepts like the um, Dreamscaper is from season one where they go into Stan's mind yes. like he could sort of do that in live action but like I love the, the limitless potential of animation gives the episode so much more sort of yeah. freedom to do stuff than it would in live action I think yeah it's excellent I love I love Mabel I love Dipper I love Seuss <laughs> I just love who's your favourite character I mean Grenda <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Probably no. Nah. Of the like the main ones, it's gotta be Grunkle Stan. Yeah, I mean I love Grunkle Stan, I love Mabel. I don't know if I can do I also love them. Mabel. But then I It I, might be Stan, I don't know. Stan is so good. <laughs> Stan is probably my favourite. But also I feel like they give Stan a lot of the um the more adult themed jokes as well. Oh yeah. Which is why I find it found him a lot uh, you know, very funny now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Also you then, go on Alex Hirsch's Twitter, it's just loads of stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. He's brilliant, I think. He's really funny. <laughs> yeah. And all, actually, but to bring this to a close, like, there's a lot of fans who keep saying, like, oh, where's season three coming? When are we going to get season three? Doing a season three of Gravity Falls would completely ruin the point. Yeah, it would. Absolutely like, would. What I love about Gravity Falls so much is it didn't. It knew exactly when to stop. It's like, look, they're only here for one summer. We're gonna do. We're gonna finish the mystery, and then that's it. That's the end of the story. It is a limited story. We're yeah. not gonna pad it out. 
and that they had the balls to end it when he did, you know, right when it was getting to like the height of its popularity. So similar to how Breaking Bad is like, no, because I've ended the story, it's here. Yeah. However, what I do think would be interesting if he did, if he was forced by contract or something to go and do more Gravity Falls. What What do you think about like a, a set like ten years later? So there when was they, all the kid kids have grown up and they returned to Gravity Falls. Okay. Well, I th- I, like, I saw some um, fan art of it being. Um... Dipper. It's a dangerous route to go down. Well, yeah, of uh, Dipper and Mabel being adults and their kids going to Gravity Falls. Okay. And I was like, that I could be quite that. cool. I was, yeah, I think if they had to make a sequel to it, it would have to be set when they're adults and coming back after all this time, as opposed to like just going straight back. Yeah. But like, I can imagine like Dipper going back and they, like he's now grown up, he's graduated from university and he's, like, he's now like a paranormal investigator. Yeah, and like, cause you know, there's the Bill statue. Yes, at the end, at the yeah. right, at the end, of the credits. Yeah, but yeah. So I think, but ultimately, I do think Gravity Falls would be stronger if they just left as it is. Yeah, and absolutely. Moved on to something else, because also there's like, there's no one, nowhere really else to go. Is there? Like, all no. the journals are destroyed. Bill's been beaten. Like, that's the other thing as well. It wraps up so many. They um, can explore some of the weird stuff of Gravity Falls, but there's, there's, it's yeah. It wraps up so nicely that there's nowhere else they could really go. Yeah. But I am awaiting a bated breath whatever uh, Alex Hirsch does next. And I think he is working on something. No idea what, but like, oh, yeah. I cannot wait to see.